Greetings, young girls who want to blossom into tomorrow's sciencey women folk. I'm Dr. Emily Trocadero, head of the science division here at Butler Tech Industries, welcoming you to the first tape in our company's Future Women of Science series, created in part due to a settlement in a civil suit with a number of female former employees. Not our proudest moment there, guys. You're watching this tape because you're a girl between the ages of 7 and 14 interested in joining the wonderful world of science. Or maybe you're watching this because your mom bought this for you. Or maybe your teacher who minored in women's studies put it on in class. Or maybe you got it as a birthday gift from that one aunt who will never marry even though you specifically asked her for a gift card to Benetton. Is that still around? Ah, oh, shit if I know. This video series is to address a serious problem in the scientific and technological communities. Namely, their sausage fests. Labs full of XY chromosome flesh bags as far as the eye can see. Recent studies show a distinct lack of women mad scientists in this world. Why is that? Well, at first we thought it's because Women don't wear shoes nine months out of the year. Seriously. The temperature goes above 55 degrees and it's flip-flop weather for all y'all. Why? Why are you wearing a jacket and flip-flops? What is that? Here's a fun fact for you. Science requires shoes. The atom bomb wasn't invented by dudes in Birkenstocks or those awful sandals with the strap running between your toes to an ankle loop. No! The best things in science were built by people in actual shoes. So, to remedy this problem, we tried donating shoes to women to get them interested in science. Didn't work. Apparently, women aren't into LA gear high tops anymore. Ankle support? Not a high priority for the ladies. So we looked at our data from another perspective. One not related to shoes and found out that girls are often discouraged at a young age from joining the science and engineering industries. That's when it all came together. First, we get them interested in science. Then, we get them interested in shoes. And then, boom! A new generation of female mad scientists are born, ready to build the death rays and, and mecha beasts to carry us into future prosperity and or cataclysmic warfare against our enemies. I'm looking at you, Spain. Your time's running out. Over the course of this series, young, impressionable girls like yourself will learn to love the realm of science. Not just one science, but all the sciences, like pharmaceuticals or cybernetics or spaceships or bioweapons that may or may not violate international and national law. Edit out that last one. So come on, girls. Let's get you hooked on science so you can bend the world to your will. Maybe one of you will be the next Neil deGrasse Tyson or the guys from Mythbusters or that goth chick from NCIS. I mean, she does science, right? Whatever. Point is, with the right motivation and some hard work, you can make it big in science. Maybe you'll even have my job someday. <laughs> nope. Not while I'm alive, honey. Dr. Trocadero, log it off. Whose jacket is this? <laughs>